Hi, my name is Brooke Andrade, and I'm an instruction librarian at Adams State College. I also staff Ask Colorado on Thursday evenings. I've made a very brief tutorial on using Google Site Search, which is a method that will hopefully retrieve better results for you and your patrons. If you're like me, you use Google several times during each Ask Colorado shift. And of course, you can find results to help patrons using a straightforward Google search from the Google.com homepage. For example, let's say a patron was just diagnosed with asthma. You could just do a Google search on asthma and send your patron the first result that comes up. However, in this case, the first result is from Wikipedia. And I would be really hesitant to send a patron a Wikipedia page, particularly on a medical condition. The patron is probably looking for more authoritative consumer health information. This is a perfect time to use what's called a site search. A site search allows for you to look for a keyword or phrase within a particular domain. There are two ways to perform a site search. With one method, you actually click on the tiny advanced search link off to the side of the search bar. And in the top box where it says find web pages that have all of these words, you type in your search. And another nice thing to do is actually to change your results per page to 100 results so that you can scam more websites quickly. But the most important part of the advanced search is this search within a site or domain, and this is what allows you to do a site search. So down here, I can type in a particular website, like CNN.com, but I can also type in a particular top-level domain, like .gov, .org, or .edu. So if I type in CNN.com, for example, I'm going to search CNN's website for news on asthma. And as you can see, we got 7,000 news results from CNN.com, that particular website. Now I'm going to go back. For medical information, actually my favorite type of site search to do is a .gov, or gov search for federal information. I think the federal government does a really nice job with providing high quality consumer health information. So I have asthma in my top box and I typed in .gov and now I'll click advanced search and I'm only finding results that are sponsored by the federal government. And right off the bat I get really good results. This first one is from the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute and it gives a really good definition and overview of asthma. And then on a little further down on the result list is actually my favorite consumer health website. It's Medline Plus, and Medline Plus provides great access to consumer health information, and it links out to other major organizations with high quality information. So .gov worked really well for this topic of asthma. Now, sometimes you might want to do a different type of top-level domain search. For example, when I get history, or literary criticism questions, say the Civil War generals, I might actually go to .edu, which is higher education. And I'll do an advanced search, and I'll only get results that are sponsored by higher education organizations. Uh, beware of student papers in the .edu website. That's one, to one type of website to avoid, but if it's written by a faculty member or a department, it's usually pretty high quality. Another type of search that I do frequently is a .org search, which should stand for nonprofit organization. It doesn't always. And I find it particularly useful for questions on art or like our animal questions. We always get those. So when we do a search on polar bears in .org, we get a lot of great information. Now, notice Wikipedia is a .org, so you get that first, but we'll just skip over that one. And we get Polar Bear International, which is a nonprofit for polar bears. We get uh, SeaWorld, which actually has some really great information that students would want on polar bears. Now, earlier I said there were two ways to do, to do a site search. Um, advanced search is one, but if I go back to the main Google homepage, I don't actually have to go to advanced search and go down to domain. I could just type site colon and gov or I could type org or I could type cnn.com and when I click on Google search it's the exact same set of results. So I hope you found this mini tutorial on Google site searching useful. Again my name is Brooke Andrade and I work at Adams State College and feel free to contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks.